He was absolutely postal, didn't he? <laughs> Warrior. <laughs> Warrior. No. Um. <laughs> oh man, he would say probably something like. Before I hand you your ass, would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Thank you, Godfrey. Yeah. Could you pack my lunch as well? <laughs> Alas, I am returned. To be granted audience once more. Like yeah, of, yeah, he's but, one of the big main bosses there, yeah, for sure. He, nice. he kicked my ass a few times, that's for sure. Really? Can you beat him now? Oh, yeah. Breeze through him. Oh, mate. yeah. Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. <laughs> yeah, mate. No worries. <laughs> so Amazing. do you remember doing the voice lines for that in terms of yeah. what, what direction they gave you? Did you have the voice straight away? What sort of – how did that all go? Yeah, I think um, – I remember it vividly. It's uh, – Fantastic um, studio in London called Liquid Violet, and they they produce all the audio stuff. And um, yeah, I had when we I did the two or three sessions, um, and yeah, you just sort of jump in, and like a lot of things with in the booth, you know, there's quite a few people watching, um, mm. like various, you know, loads of you know different people from the creative team and they've you know they've got their input so we were changing little bits of text as we were going or they were you know which is great but um yeah you're kind of getting your lines and reading through it and i was kind of reading on and mm. one of the lines was godfrey gets stabbed in the ribs dropped to knee and groans and then i was like oh no how am i gonna do that <laughs> so in, the, I literally in the booth did, yeah Upon my name as Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. And then, like, the big roar, like, you literally, that you can see it coming, like, there's only one way to do it, and that is just give absolutely everything to just see what it comes out well, like. I guess when you're doing the roar, you're not up this close to the mic, are you? You're a bit... No, nah, you're like, I, like, did it, I think. I think I ripped my shirt off. No, I didn't. But I did, you know, <laughs> do the whole thing, and yeah, yeah shirt, really shirt came in. off, muscles were bulging. A bit yeah, like, they got the photos, and they're like, "That's our Godfrey." Yeah, and I and I heard that you worked with. Um, you've got a pet lion now, as a as a way to get into the role, right? <laughs> no, what? I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Godfrey, <laughs> okay. I don't know if you've Just seen. Ignore. He's got a. He's got a like a lion. As a part of yeah. His, yeah, 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 I have seen that. It's a pretty it's cool design. unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, I remember when they you were recording and then and someone says, "Oh, we'll show you a little bit so you can see what he looks like." And I that's when I was like, "This is mega! This looks incredible." So they did, so they did show you before you got to record. They showed you what. Yeah, but he did. didn't. He didn't look like he he looks now. They he has changed. Oh, a bit. okay. Yeah, right. But I mean, it, it is. It's kind of funny, like. My my girlfriend lives in London, and she was walking down like Leicester Square with her mum. And the character I'm playing is on the big screen, and she's like, "Oh, look, there's Ed up there!" Look. So, uh... <laughs> wow, it's uh, it's crazy. So, is the voice? Did the voice just come naturally? Like, you could do the voice right now, or did you have to warm up into it, or what? No, I think I just sort of jumped in. Because I can hear that your voice is very deep, just naturally. So, yeah, so it's that sort of resonance, that sort mm. of put it down there sort of thing. What was it even that? Was it? I can't remember now. No, but, it, um, it was that. It was pretty similar to that. Yeah. Courtesy enough. Yeah, I think that's that what they were looking for. So, yeah, hopefully, I yeah gave it to them. Have you have you ever done a voice like that before? In anything else you'd done, or anything similar? 
I did an ad for a watch company and that was quite gravelly and you know really watches are amazing they're the best watches in the world so a little bit yeah, of that yeah, yeah, yeah. and then just give it what was lovely about this was they wanted you know my cornish accent my lilt to, to be mm. part of it so there's a, just a hint of it but i think we did a couple of goes until they were like that's the one yeah. so uh yeah and it only took a couple of days to do i'm guessing the whole yeah lot. you never rec like you're always recording for not very long a couple of hours each time and you're like oh we i'm doing it and i'm like i could do this all day i could stay in here all day doing this and then when it finishes i'm like oh i want to do more but um yeah they're, yeah. they're just so generous with time and you're really well looked after and yeah so it, i can't remember how many how many hours it took but it wasn't loads yeah um yeah but yeah it was good fun it's one of those industries the quicker you are the better for them Am I wrong? Yeah. Yeah. I always think you want to give people what they want and you got to offer stuff. Otherwise, yeah. you know, if you're not offering anything, then you probably shouldn't be an actor. But you've got to say, well, you know, chuck some stuff out there and you've yeah. got somewhere to go from them. Warrior! No, um, 